Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are playing Minecraft to kick off this afternoon. We're going to be moving into Satisfactory a little bit later, going back to the new save that we started in 1.0 and uh, working on getting the next phase of the space elevator. But right now we have to fix the moss farm, which has been broken for a couple of weeks, uh, or at least the uh, design of the collection system has been broken for a couple of weeks. I'm really not happy with the way that it turned out last week, so we're going to jump right back in and see what we can do there. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. I've got Dan, super fast, Obu, Sweet Sandy, all kicking around in the chat. Hope you're having a good way. Good day so far. I am full of pancakes and coffee, uh, and it is all good. I had a really lovely trip to the farmer's market too. It's good, good times. We also had a bonus uh, conversation, uh, not really a bonus podcast. It was more like a, a Patreon hangout on the Spawn Chunks. So if you were a part of the Spawn Chunks community, there'll be a patron only recording that will be available to you on the Patreon page a little bit later today. Raven Trickster, hello. Good time zone to you as well. Blast Jordan, good to see you. I think I said hello. All right. You were cooking oatmeal. Uh, it is getting very close to oatmeal weather here. Uh, it was a nice cool morning actually going to the um going to the market it was nice so uh i am not happy with this this is this needs changing um the first thing i think i want to do which is bugging me is um is this part here why am i getting such a crappy frame rate that's really bizarre um let's turn off shaders and see if that helps yeah that was it weird um so the, the, the moss roof is kind of like a placeholder. Uh, I want to turn this into something that looks more like this with like plants and growth and stuff. So that's the first thing I'm going to do because that is distracting me for what I think is what this should be looking like. Um, I also think that uh, I want to, I'm, I don't think I want to add another post there, but I do like the changes here. I do like the change of the bark on the outside. But then we've got this change, this up here, and this just isn't isn't really working for me. So I think we're gonna get rid of some of this. It feels too much like a building. So I guess first things first, we'll do some chopping. And do I have the things in my inventory? I don't, I need some bushes. I am definitely gonna be pressing all the wrong hotkeys today. I'm just warning you now. I've been playing satisfactory for the week and I just, the, the hockeys are the same, but different a little bit in that game. And I'm definitely going to be making some missteps here. I'm getting low on Azalea. I don't think I want to do anything with um, flowering Azalea. Don't need all that stone either. Freeze up the inventory a little bit. Where's the dirt box? Heard hockeys, and I know you're a fellow Canadian, but I don't know. We had had hockey in Minecraft. Did we have hockey in Minecraft? No. Oh, I said hot keys, and you heard hockey. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, Star. No, no. Uh, I'm actually not a big hockey fan. I like live hockey. I'll watch like the Quebec Major Junior League, but I'm not. I'm not an NHL person. I don't follow it at all. Right, so that should be a log. Yeah, I think that's going to make a big difference.
Now, do I want that to be a log? Probably. I'm okay with some of the stuff behind being, uh, oh, that maybe not, that is glass underneath there. I'll leave that like that. How does a moss farm work? Do you actually make moss or does it make mossy stone uh you could make mossy stone if you had it all hooked up right uh the moss farm uses lava and water to create stone platforms there's a really good explanation uh, in the last vod on, of minecraft on the joel duggan vods channel on youtube um, but essentially i can point you towards what it is so this this is the moss farm here in the distance and so what happens is um there's lava sources and water back there, and there's a piston feed tape that creates stone and then pushes the stone along here. And then there is a dispenser here um, that will bone meal this moss block. And this moss block will turn some of this stone into moss. You can see it in the background there. And when it's moss, when the pistons push forward, it breaks the moss and all the image, the, all the things end up sitting on top of this platform and then these trap doors open up and you can see the water sources there and the water sources rinse everything down into this collection system and then some of it comes this way and gets stored in our storage system that's what this is up here and then the rest of it on the other side of that blue water goes the other way and it gets composted at the top here and turned into more bone meal so like i never have to go out there to add bone meal to the system it's just that's how it just it's a loop um so that's how that works uh, and then up here what we're doing is just decorating uh, the um, the storage system. Uh, and the storage system is not entirely working co correctly, so there's a few things we need to, um, to tweak. Right, I think I can do this. And we'll make this a moss block. And then I can attach this. Don't have any shears on me though. Unless they're in here, they might be in here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, already that's looking better, I think. I'll do that again over on the other side. I wanna have another one just over the the water. And I think I'll add berries to that top one. It's like I had before. Don't know whether this needs to be smaller or bigger. I think that looks okay. Cosmic Dancer pops the head in to say hi before off to see dad. 
Well, give your dad our best. Uh, Star says, that's really neat and a very clear explanation for those who aren't Redstone Farm inclined. Oh, that's cool. Happy that, that it was at least straightforward. It's hard sometimes when I've been like, eat, sleeping, and breathing this game for such a long time to, to make sure that the explanations are clear, you know? Uh, I think I'm going to change this out. I remember talking about this last time. Put a moss piece there. Now in here, um, we could have that go like that. But then this, I don't think needs to necessarily be this tall, does it? Right, because that needs to be there. So does that. Now here we could do a little bit more with this. Now that's a tricky situation. I guess that could be a log. Like that. And then oh. oh, I thought I had turned those into the other logs. I guess I had not. So the idea here is to try and strip this down a bit and get it into something that looks a little bit more natural. And then so here we could start to maybe uh, that that's going to work there. That's fine. These I think have to stay. Yeah. I kind of want to add in a little bit here and there. But it's not always going to be possible. I think that looks all right. Certainly looks a lot more natural than it was before. This looks a little bit funny. Maybe that needs to be thickened up a bit. Yeah, sort of. Feels disconnected a little bit. And we're out of bushes. Now 
Hey, Joel. Long time no see. How you been? Vampirium. Hello. Welcome in. Uh, we're doing great. Good Saturday. Full of pancakes. Had a farmer's market trip. Uh, did a little bonus um, Patreon thing earlier and had a chance to relax and watch Total Eclipse play some Satisfactory with a coffee and then jumped in for our work day. This is the part where I'm just not sure how to handle it. What's going to look good outside may not look good inside. I know there's a few things I want to change here too. So this I think is okay. But then a lot of this is a little bit funky. Actually, maybe we'll take both of those out. I think we could do something cooler with that. I don't know where that log went. I hope I picked it up. Glad you're doing well. Made some cool stuff lately. Post it in the Discord. Yeah, please do. Please do. Uh, upgrading your Patreon soon. Yeah, yeah. Patreon. And well, and I can talk about um, the changes that are coming to my Patreon. Um, I won't share what we're doing with the spawn chunks. That's available for patrons if they want. Uh, or it will be. Uh, we did the live thing this morning and then the recording will be out to later to today or tomorrow. Um, so Apple is forcing Patreon to change their billing methods in the iOS app. And as you can imagine, the iOS app is a large number of people that use Patreon uh, as far as billing and stuff is concerned. So uh, what's happening there is uh, Patreon has decided to remove all first of the month and uh, per creation billing. So my Patreon, I believe is on first of the month. I may have switched already to subscription billing. Um, that's not a huge change because it's kind of a monthly thing anyway for the people that support my stream on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan for people that are wondering. And there's different tiers. There's like access to the Discord. There's access to the Minecraft server. There's an extra level that give you access to two worlds. Like there's a creative world and then the uh, survival let's play world um and then on top of that uh, i also have the sigil cafe podcast and the sigil cafe podcast is on a per creation basis so that's going to have to change and that's going to be challenging because the sigil cafe has been less consistent than other things that i do and so having a monthly fee for that is um it's going to be different uh the good news about the monthly fee thing though is that it, it renews on the same day so if you sign up on the 15th, you get billed on the 15th every month. And uh, essentially what's happening is that Patreon is removing um, the ability to have new patrons sign up uh, as of November 24th in iOS on a per creation or per month billing system. Only subscription billing will be available as of November 2024. And then Patreon as a whole is removing access to per creation and monthly billing, uh, first of the month billing rather, in November, 2025. So we've got some changes that are coming with the spawn chunks. Uh, I'm planning some changes with the Citadel Cafe that I'm gonna have to talk to patrons about as well. And um, when that happens, um, we will uh, do like a little town hall thing in the Discord and I'll get some feedback from people and see what's up. 
Um, the Joel Duggan uh, Patreon is going to be a little bit easier to handle, I think. Um, so that that should be a, more of a straightforward change because that's monthly now anyway. So it's really not going to be too much of a change. But, you know, I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about pricing and what changes might need to happen and all that kind of stuff. Right, so this, why is this, this goes all the way up like that. I don't know. It's hard to get far enough away from this. I feel like this is kind of in the way. Yeah, that feels strange to me, even though it makes sense with what's coming up here inside. I feel like I want to add something to that. And that is not it. Looks better, but not the best. And that would be supported on that, which is not going to work. Hmm. Maybe what needs to happen is this needs to go all the way up to the top here. And then this idea has to be out the front. And I'm not a fan of any of this. With everything being updated, it's the perfect time to resub, says Vampire Live, uh, Vampirium. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm going to be looking, I'm going to be taking the opportunity to revamp the Patreon. Um, I'd like to add more, if I can, where I can. Uh, more options, anyway, would be nice. Okay. So I think what needs to happen here, I think I need to hide these observers. They're not my favorite. So I think what we might do is actually have post here and come to a different height to make this more interesting. And then take this along here. What's a better way to do this? I feel like, no, that makes sense. Maybe we'll bring it down here. That and that will give us an opportunity to put some glass in here in this section. So it gives us a little bit of a relief here. Although that does look a little bit funny, doesn't it? I might have to take that back the whole way. Are they the same size? What's this? This is one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why it looks funny. It's an even number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I could either take it all away. But then I kind of like that being exposed. That's probably all right. Um, then we have to figure out what's going to happen on the other level. Bali, hello. Good to see you. You're having a good day. So this... Don't like that particularly. We could just have glass go down here as well. I also want this to sort of look good from the inside. And this is the bubble column thing. That's got glass there. And fix that too. I'm not crazy about it being open to the air. I'd like to cover that up somehow. Use a stair for that. And then, I wonder if I could do some slats. That could maybe be a good solution. I feel like this part here is a little bit too open. Maybe that just needs to be continued all the way to the top. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using copper on that build. No, I think I'm going to be using copper on the other one. So you'll notice that like the door out here, like this door is pretty matchy to what's happening here. And I just copied that and made it over here. And I think what I want to do is I want to take like this, this copper pipe thing here. And I want to do it again back here because we haven't done it at all back here. We've got some stuff happening over here as well. So I'm going to take that and I think what we're going to do is I'm going to run that like this way and have it kind of go up and into the, the mountain and sort of like as if it could connect to here or connect to that. And then I'll use the pipes to kind of like half frame a door. And I think I might change these to acacia or something. I just think it'd be kind of fun to have like two different doors. That's the idea anyway. So that's better. It's getting there. Uh, I still don't know about this section. What could we do in here other than like, I guess I could put lights in there. That could be fun. I could also have something hang over the top of it too. I like the idea of maybe copper bulbs. I do have some. Just two. I need more than two. Working on the moss farm? Uh, the moss farm decoration, yeah. Still have some organic projects in Minecraft, but f um, find satisfactory too much fun. Oh, I'm definitely... We are only going to be streaming from, from the Minecraft server for a little bit today. I'm definitely um, satisfactory brained at the moment. Uh, what 
was I looking for? Bah, 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 bah. Copper bumps, copper bumps, copper bumps. Have that problem in Satisfactory too. Full inventory. Don't think I need all of this moss. Freeze up a stack or two. Uh, are you going to do some Satisfactory too? I've caught up with Cybertron series. Have you, Canada Raz? There's a new one that just got is publishing at 2 p.m. <laughs> did you catch, did you watch the VOD yesterday on Twitch? It was a four-hour VOD from yesterday. I'm just teasing. I, yeah, that's right. great. I'm really glad that you like that series. Uh, are, you, um, are you new to Satisfactory? Like, is it something that you've not experienced before? Uh, here is where I want So what I'm thinking is that I use these guys. I don't have a button. Sort of has the same vibe as the magma and the mushroom or the shroom light. That's not bad. Not bad. It feels a little strange. Maybe I don't do the bottom one. Uh, maybe I need to oxidize them. That's a possibility too. So this is just the drop shaft. I feel like that needs to be maybe a little bit clearer. And this is the up and I don't know how far we come up. Oh, pretty high. If I put that there, do I bang my head? Yes, I do. Can I get out no problem though? I think that's okay. So we could potentially have a cross beam that goes across this whole section. Right.
a little bit more depth and interest, I think. Now, from the outside, do we need to make any changes there? I also don't know what's happening at the back. It's one of these things I just did not plan. Yeah, that's kind of a strange thing to see. And right away, I kind of wonder if these can be changed. a little bit better. I think it's the inconsistency of the wood that I'm using inside too. Like this shouldn't be there. This should maybe be like that. And then something more like that maybe. Actually, that might have been okay. No. Nope. And then we can add little bits like this, just to kind of have it look a little bit nicer. Have like a little... Add a deep... Well, you know, maybe not. Does that have water behind it somewhere? Don't think so. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Now, does it look better from the outside now, too? And I, for that, I'm going to need to sleep so I can actually see what's going on here. Whoop. Super fast. Thank you very much for the lurk. I really appreciate it. Uh, Canada Raz says, yes, I'm a Mac user. I can't even install the game, but it does tickle my brain in a really good way. Wish we can uh, do factories like that in Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be cool. I mean, I definitely have some satisfactory ideas for my sci-fi section that I want to start in, in Minecraft. Which I want to start soon because I feel like I've got a very technical mind at the moment with all the satisfactory stuff happening. Um, yeah, it's... it's um. You could do some stuff, but like, I think the biggest problem that like the things that we have in, in satisfactory that are so cool are like seeing everything on the belts and you can do that with like water columns and stuff, but everything moves so quickly in Minecraft. Canada Raz, have you tried the create mod? I've seen some really good stuff with the create mod. Yeah, I guess that's as good as, as, good as it's going to get um, for the outside there.
that still feels kind of funny here, but I'll worry about that later. I'm worried about the top right now. I think we could maybe use a little bit more spruce over here. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Now for here, what did I want to do? That is directly over that. The one option is to just fill that in with glass. But I think something more interesting would be either oak trapdoors, or we could try doing trapdoors like this. Uh, what would be the easiest way to do this? Here, I guess. does not look as cool as I want it to. Nuggets. Okay. Let's try something else. Let's grab some oak trapdoors. Let's drop some inventory stuff here too. Not using the tough right now. Do I have my book with me? I do. We need to make more oak trap doors. Wow. That's surprising. So the other thing we could do would be to just use this block space and treat it like a window. And then I'll figure out something else to do on the outside with the stair. Again, I don't think this is gonna look fantastic. No. Yeah, it doesn't really go with the vibe. Any thoughts, chat, on what I could put in that space? I could just make it moss. Then have a bunch of like overgrowth happen in here. I 
Don't know what this is going to look like on the inside. That's probably the best solution we've got so far. Not crazy about those two connecting. So I'll get rid of that one on the side, but that's okay. Moss, moss looks better than chapters. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Too much like a checker pattern here. Can we find a place where we can add in one of those glow berries? So much of this is trial and error, so it does take a while, especially when you miss the jump. Yeah, I'd love to put a glowberry there, but you can't put them underneath the bushes. Only the solid moss can do it. And I think what we need to do is move this over. I do try to treat this stuff with like thirds. It's usually how I try to do it. Uh, I like that. I think maybe we could have this come over here. No, that's very even, isn't it? So I try to stay away from even numbers. I've got eight and six on these windows. This feels very flat. I may want to try and punch out part of that middle. OK. 
a little bit better. Although not much. Maybe I have to go the other way. Nope. Well, uh, I'm at my first hour, so I'm going to grab a quick break. If you uh, are new to the channel, I do take a, a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to just stretch, reheat the coffee. You should too. Grab a friend, grab a snack, let them know that we're streaming. Uh, we are going to be doing some Satisfactory soon, so um, stick around if you are a Satisfactory player and you found my channel this last couple of weeks. Uh, we're just going to um, stick around for here for a little bit, try to finish this up in Minecraft, and then we're going to switch over. So uh, hang tight. I will be back in five or six minutes.
Okay, let's eat some carrots. Get back to work. Salty sandworm. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Here we go, back in Minecraft. Yes, indeed. Trying to get some stuff done to talk about on Monday's show on the Spawn Chunks podcast. And we're just kind of adding some mossy, mossy stuff here. I think I can probably wind this down around the corner like that, maybe. Make it interesting with some slabs. That could be kind of fun. Where did you come from? Tried to get him. That works. Yeah. Plus, I can come back up here with some mossy cobble and dress all that up a little bit better. I may want to go in there with some concrete powder and maybe make that look a little bit different. Uh, the other thing I've got to think about is how this moss wall thing looks from the inside, which is okay, but it does need some sort of like frame or support I think maybe we can just add in some stairs or slabs yeah, I think that's fine that works That might be overdone. However, I could use them here. Cover those up. That feels pretty consistent. This is interesting. I don't know what we're going to do here. Hmm. Might be able to do a little bit more with slabs even I have a stair Oh, no, that was right. 
Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very so very much. I really appreciate the support. Always great to see you. How's your Saturday going so far? We are in the depths of the Moss Farm design. And oh, I knew that was going to be something that was going to look good on the outside, but not on the inside. Maybe here is where we break the moss inside with a bush. That's pretty good. Yeah, it kind of blends in a little bit better. Here, though, it's all outside stuff. I guess we could kind of maybe make it look like it builds up a bit. When in doubt, just hide it. I should really go get that concrete powder. Oh, missed the drop. Missed the drop. Slowly, slowly but surely, the um, the shulker box is getting emptied. I think it's green terracotta that looks good. Do we not have any? Uh, not that one. The ankle pains are real today, yeah, definitely. I am not not being super careful. Where would I want to change these? Probably I can't uh, I can do the lower ones now that I've added support, so we can kind of just do this however we want. It would make sense to have some of the ones on the bottom be darker. Hello, is that darker? I think the moss is actually the darkest. Yeah, okay. That might be enough, you know. I'll add one more over here where I can't reach. And then we'll go inside and do the same thing.
Yeah, it's just different enough. Looks good. We may even be able to get away with some of it over here, too. Sort of. Everything behind here is a maze. That actually looks pretty cool coming out into that. I think that's, I like it. Um, need to do a little bit of maintenance back there. Something like that with a trapdoor. And then maybe we'll just get rid of this. Now, I had planned on changing what this redstone is on, but I haven't really figured out what I want to do there yet. Maybe I'll just change this to a stair. Crap, that went into the bucket. That's fine. I was going to have to do a sweep of non-compostable items down there anyway. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Um, now we just have to deal with whatever we're going to do on this ceiling. Ceilings are always tricky, I find. Especially when you wanted to make it look kind of organic. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Now here we could have some fun uh, because we can obviously put glowberries up in here. Where would it be able to be seen from below? Probably in that space there. the second one over. Yep, 
Yeah, totally. Now, can I reach that? Probably not. Let's make this an upside down trapdoor so I can climb it. Not bad. That's pretty good. I'm going to need more berries, but I can do that out here. Mm. Where? Well, you know what? We'll just go back inside. That's all I need. Yeah, I always leave one in the uh, in the chest because then it's just it's easy to just bone meal more. Pretty straightforward. So where else could we use one? Probably there would be good. Probably would be good to try to have one here. And then maybe we'll grab one of them over there. I feel like this needs a little bit more leafiness to it. Can this be put on that? Can. I feel like this one would be a good candidate for a light. Oh, that's going to be hard. Hold on. Do that. And then this. Now we're good.
That looks pretty good. I think what we need to do is finish off the roof. I need to go out there with some moss, which I have. Now the hard part is that we're not going to be able to um, put the different kinds of blocks in the ceiling because concrete, of course, needs support, concrete powder. So we don't have that yet. So I think what we'll do is just pull this right across. But then I don't know what to do here. This could be glass, maybe? Maybe we do glass like here? I'm out of bushes again. Jeez. Chewing through all my bushes. Real Yjan. Hello, Joel. I see a pretty face. Well, thanks very much. Uh, since when do you use a face cam? Because I know that you wanted to do that for a while. Uh, I uh, had been thinking about it seriously ever since we updated the spawn chunks to a video podcast. So um, when I knew that was coming, I started to put away money from Twitch and money from the spawn chunks in order to pick up a new camera. It's not a great solution yet. The camera is great. Uh, I'm still working on the software side of things and I'm still working on the logistics side of things in the studio. Right now I have one stand, one HDMI cable and one power cable for it. Uh, I need to pick up the extra power cable and HDMI cable. I'm also debating whether I should just buy a full second stand exactly as I have it or go with a slightly different stand. Uh, I could move I could move this shot a little closer here on the streaming table. But I don't know if I need to. Um, feedback in the chat is welcome. Like if you like the shot, if you like, if you think that I need to be larger in frame. Um, I mean, I can zoom in a little bit, but also um, it depends on like what, what I'm doing. Uh, do people feel that the face cam is big enough in terms of how big it is on the screen? Like, because it could be larger. It's a 1080p camera, and this is just a tiny little, like, 6, 4, not even, it's like a 320 box. So it's not super big. Uh, good. Blast Jordan, take care. Thanks so much for being here. I know that it's a different time zone for you and you can only stay so long, but I really appreciate how often you show up despite how late it is. Sandy says the thing is pretty good as it is, the, the face cam. Thanks. So, yeah, the, the problem there is that, like, I don't think another Elgato arm would reach from my existing setup, so I'd have to buy, like, another mount. Um... What I'm thinking about doing is picking up a, a quick release plate system so that I could have the plate on both this setup and on the desk behind me. And so it would be just like a quick, like unplug the power, unplug the HDMI, and then just quick release the camera. And then the tripod, or not tripod, the mount angle would be precise. So then it would be just like sliding the camera out of the, the mount here and putting it in the mount over there and each time it would be the same when I move it back and forth that's a plan right now the indecision is which stand do I get do I buy another Elgato multi, multi mount with a solid arm that's the combo that's here it's the Elgato multi mount and solid arm I have the multi section arm above the Lego table and it's okay but it's not great because it's not static like there's tension on those ball joints and every once in a while they get loose and so I'm not a fan of that um, articulation. Um, so I could get another, I, and I can't get another one of those because the Elgato straight arm is only like 26 centimeters and I want it to be like 30. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky. This is, yeah, that's not gonna stay there, I don't think. Um, what I want to do is find out where 
Yeah, so that is something I want because then I can put that there, right? Crap, that was the, that was a bush. And none of those have any kind of bush underneath them. Now here, I feel like we should probably have something on the back too. So it'll serve two functions. It'll stop the items from popping up super high, but it'll also um, allow us to do a little bit of this. That goes inside. I'm not crazy about that. But here's a good opportunity to use a different texture, right? not terrible Now I gotta be careful over here. I don't want to ruin stuff that's got um, a vine hanging from it. I think that looks all right. Certainly better than where we started. Use a little bit more, I think, hanging down over here.
that has to stay open. And here we could have maybe a little bit more. I'm realizing that this is wide open too. But I don't know what to do here. We've done the moss over there. I get we I guess we just leave this open. I think that's fine. I do feel like these things need something on the end, and I don't know what that could be. Thinking maybe a button. Ah, uh, this moss farm. Yeah, the honey block is just to align the items. I also need to wax those bulbs too. Um, what was I looking for? Buttons. Really? I don't have any buttons. Wow. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that'd be a nice sub block texture. Yeah, there's the moss farm. Uh, where we are is the um, collection system for the moss farm. This might look dumb, but I want to give it a shot. No, I actually think that helps. do this one from the outside. It's look a little bit funny when you just do one. It's weird how it usually looks a lot better when you do two. We're getting real close though. I need more carrots. Where are those? Last stack, we have to make more. The berry lights are nice, thanks, yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. I think that could be probably thicker.
Yeah. Now this to me, I feel like this needs to have be glass somehow. No, something needs to change though. It feels strange. Yeah, it feels weird. Maybe it needs to have like a continuation of the moss. It's a little bit better. Maybe I can get some of that tough and uh, mossy cobble out here now. Trapdoors? Oh, that's a good idea, Sandy. I just don't want to do too many trapdoors because we've got trapdoors below above the door. <laughs> that was a weird sentence. There are trapdoors on the do door that is below this. Right? So that, that to me feels like a little overkill. Although I do like the tech the um depth change. That's a good point. That's a good point. I still think this needs to be like mossy cobble or tuft or something. Hmm. I actually don't mind that at all. Maybe we'll put mossy cobble up there too. We'll get into the shapes of everything later, I think. That was probably concrete powder at some point. All right, I need to go up inside and see how that looks on, um, on the floor. Uh, are you glad, Joel, now that you can have tough slabs? Yes, 100%. We've got some plans in West Hill for, for tough slabs and and stuff. Absolutely. So does this look a little bit weird? Uh, it's not bad. We can maybe have it spread out a little bit. A little bit more.
I actually don't mind that. We'll go back. I think that looks alright. She's dark in here, though. No, that's a hard no. Uh, we will have to figure out a light. Oh, I... I... Did I destroy all of my lights? Yes, I did. And that's all it takes. And just little bits here and there. I thought I had more lights up there. So now we just need to do, I think, this other part. Now that we've got the roof on here, this needs to be, I think, a little bit more detailed. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it, and it looks like it's kind of growing from that side and then moving towards the other side, which I like. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being absolutely awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, mm -mm, I think we're good. Happy with that change. Still haven't changed the redstone, but I'm not going to bother with that right now because I need to make sure I know where it's going. So before I forget, let's go down and double check that we've not got things in composters that we do not want in composters. Like that. Thanks, Kenneth Raz. So maybe we'll throw in some shaders here and take a look. Well, I forgot to take the scaffolding down. That's going to distract me. Let's go do that. Yeah, my, for whatever reason, my shaders now really are tanking my system. I don't know why. I used to be able to get decent frame rates. It says 50, but it's it's like a, fr there's like a frame stutter. Hope that's not back. Jeez.
So my bushes always show up a little bit brighter in this texture pack, but I think that's pretty good. And then we can start to do this kind of a treatment, like all down through here and have it blend in a little bit nicer now that we know what's going to coming from above. It feels a little lopsided, um, but I mean, it is a big box. There are some functionality things inside I have to check that aren't working. These these locks on the on the filters. So what happens is when the chests fill up, this is supposed to push the block across, which prohibits the signal from going down, which means that this hopper will then stop filling up so it doesn't have items floating in space down there, but it doesn't work. So I need to figure out a different solution for that. I like the lights. I feel like I may be... I maybe need to echo them somewhere else in the build because they're not inside. We've not done any. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. So they're inside, but like, I feel like there's another, there should be another spot. Maybe I could replace that with lights. That might be a good idea. Even just having like a single light, maybe in the top back corner could be good. All of this looks good. I'm fine with all this. This is just on the back side, and I that's not really super precious. It's really just the view from like the road here and the view from here. So yeah, I feel like we need something there. Even in the daylight, it feels kind of dark. Thanks, Andy. Let's do that fast. Do I have a bulb? No. Grab two just in case. And of course, I don't have a button again. <laughs> the only downside to these things. Looks good between the buttons too. Yeah, I think that that helps. Fun. I like it. And it may also light up a little bit of this water column from the other side, too. Yeah. All right. Looks a good. Now, did I leave anything around? No more scaffolding. So really the, the last phase uh, on the next Minecraft stream uh, will just be to miss the jump, fall in a hole, and not have your rockets on your hopper. Hold on. If I turn the mouse slowly, it's not bad. It's only if I speed it up. So it'll be this part here, this land part here that needs to get um, treated a little bit. Uh, and then we'll finish up, like I said, with those plans for the door back here. Uh, but this is looking much better. I think the, the organic route was definitely the way to go. Uh, we may also want to put another berry light out here somewhere if we can figure out how to do it. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Uh, folks, I'm going to continue to stream this afternoon, uh, but we are going to switch over to Satisfactory, and I'm going to take a slightly longer break, maybe about 10 minutes, 
So I will uh, switch the stream over. You'll see a slight blip in the VOD um, where, or in the stream anyway, where the VOD will switch over. Um, so don't go anywhere. The stream will immediately start back up again as soon as I open up Satisfactory and switch my profile on OBS. Uh, if you're watching this later on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, thanks very much. You can check out things like the Sponge Chunks podcast at the spongechunks.com, uh, as well as on YouTube and on your favorite podcast app. I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast. Again, YouTube, favorite podcast app, very easy to find. Joel Duggan on social media and Joel Duggan on Patreon. And if you'd like to support the channel, that's one of the best ways to jump in on the Discord. It's only $2 a month, which is the price of a cup of coffee, and I truly appreciate it. Uh, once again, thanks for the support this afternoon uh, on this stream, and thanks for the modding, Sandy. Uh, we're going to switch over to Satisfactory. All of those VODs for both Minecraft, Satisfactory, including a new playlist for the Satisfactory Cybertron playthrough, which is my brand new 1.0 playthrough. They're all separate play playlists over on the YouTube VODs channel. So that's uh, Joel Duggan VODs. And uh, so you can catch up if you're behind and uh, see what we've been up to in Satisfactory. So uh, more Minecraft coming next week. Uh, Minecraft podcast on Monday, talking about the new bundles and the new um, dates for Minecraft Live, which is next Saturday. So uh, just uh, hang tight, check out those podcasts, and I'll be back in just a few.